Hi everyone, uh, today we are going to discuss on uh, tutorial 11, uh, the topic is power. Okay, the first question, a lift takes 15 seconds to move up a vertical distance of 22 meter. So what is the minimum power required by the lift when there are 5 passengers with a total of mass uh, 3000 kilogram? So the lift has mass 3000 kilogram uh, together with the people uh, inside and then uh, it travel the vertical distance 22 meter time taken is 15 seconds so we are going to find the power required okay using the formula for power which is equals to the work done divided by time taken so the work done is change in potential energy uh, and uh, divided by time taken eh? so we use work energy theorem for the work done so the change in uh, potential energy here is mgh minus zero so starting from the bottom here the potential energy is zero and at the top is mgh so m is 3, 000, uh, 300 kilogram g 9.81 uh, h is 22 meter minus zero then divided by 15 so you get 4316 watt okay so you can round it off to three significant features or two significant features okay so you will get 4300 okay or 4310 watt okay so now next uh, question two uh, a car is traveling with a constant uh, velocity of 20 meter per second the total resistance to motion is 640 newton so what is the minimum power of the car okay so this is the car traveling uh, with initial velocity 20 meter per second so the frictional force is 640 newton because this is total resistance okay uh, in the opposite direction of the motion so for the power we use work done uh, divided by time taken and this time the work done is uh, the frictional force times the uh, distance travel divided by time so uh, distance is not given but we can use uh, uh, s over t as a velocity eh? so velocity is given by 20 meter per second so 640 times 20 so we get 12,800 watt Okay, so we go to question 3. An electric motor is used to lift a load of 120 kg. So the power of the motor is 1500 Watt. So if the efficiency of the motor is 60%, calculate the time taken to lift the load through a height of 5 meter. Okay, so the power of motor 1500 Watt. Uh, the traveling uh, distance is 5 meter upward and the uh, uh, mass is 120 kilogram okay so we use uh, efficiency formula power output divided by power input times 100 okay so the efficiency is given 60 second and the power we are going to find uh, power output so power input is 1500 watt because this is power from the motor so this is power input okay so to find uh, power output uh, because the question is one time taken so we need to the time taken we can uh, use uh, the formula from power output so power output is work done divided by time so this is where we can find the time so power uh, work done is uh, mgh divided by t Okay, uh, change in potential energy. So mgh minus zero is mgh over time taken. So we uh, substitute the mass 120 g 9.81 and the height travel is uh, five meter uh, divided by time taken. So we substitute into here. 
So it's, the total is 5,886 5, divided by time taken. So we substitute into here and we solve for T and we get 6.54 seconds. Okay, so next we go to question uh, 4. Okay, a car of mass 1,200 kg takes 8.4 seconds to accelerate from rest to a speed of 20 meter per second. So what is the power output of the car's engine? And question B, if the engine is 28%, how much energy is consumed by the engine in the 8.4 second? Okay, so uh, imagine the here, the draw from the drawing here. So the car uh, travel from uh, U, okay, this one U0 to the final uh, velocity, eh, 20 meter per second. Okay, so the mass is 1,200 kilogram. The time travel is 8.4 second. Okay, so from the power, we use formula work done over time. So work done, we can use change in kinetic energy from the work energy theorem. So we have uh, you are given uh, u and b here. So you can use half m v squared minus half m v half m v squared minus half m u squared. Okay, so uh, the initial velocity is u, so kinetic energy is zero, and final half m is one thousand two hundred, and the velocity is twenty meter per second. So you calculate power uh, output is twenty eight thousand six hundred watt. Okay, uh, convert to three significant figures. Okay, so now the question B, uh, now the engine is uh, given 28% efficient. So how much energy is consumed by the engine in the 8.4 second? So the power output calculated already. So for efficiency, we can use this power output over power input times 100. So efficiency is 28%. So power output is this one. So we substitute into here. So we are going to find power input. Uh, so that later we can calculate the energy which is equals to um, uh, power times time. Yeah? So we calculate power input. We cross multiply. So 228,600 times, uh, uh, 600 times 100 divided by 28. So we substitute into the power equals to energy over time so energy is power times time so power this power we put here okay so the answer for power input is 800 uh, energy eh, and energy input uh, is 8058 kilojoules so i answer here using prefix form okay in three significant features so this is the energy uh, consumed, which is energy input. Eh? Okay, now we go to question uh, five, uh, the last question. An electric toy car travels at a constant speed of 2.5 meter per second on a horizontal surface. The total resistance to motion is 12 newton. So this is uh, frictional force. Okay, what is the power output of the toy car and if the efficiency of the toy car is 60%, so what is the power input? So power output, so this is the car travel with the speed 2.5 meter per second. And the frictional force here is 12 newton. So we can use uh, power equals to work done divided by time. So work done is uh, force time distance. Uh, but the distance not given, we can use uh, S over time uh, as a velocity. So F is 12 times uh, velocity, 2.5 meter per second. So we get 30 joule, uh, uh, 30 watt. Eh? So the unit here for power is watt. Okay, so you uh, change this to 30 watt. Okay. Next, uh, B, the efficiency of the toy car is 60%. So, using the formula for efficiency, power output divided by power input times 100. So, you substitute 60%. Then, power output is 30 joule times 100 divided by power input. So, we cross multiply. So, we calculate, we get uh, power input 50 watt. So, that's uh, the answer for this question. Okay. So now uh, we have finished uh, tutorial 11 and bye-bye. Uh,